What's up? DSP here. And we are starting a brand new game today. Brand new gaming week and a brand new game. We've got Medal of Honor Warfighter. <clears throat> which is the next installment in the Medal of Honor series. This game is going to basically follow uh, certain international terror hunting teams, such as SEAL Team 6 and such, who are now going throughout the world and seeking to end terrorism. Because as you know, now that Osama bin Laden has been killed, we no longer have to go after him, but there are still plenty of other assholes out in the world who deserve to be punished. And therefore, this should have just been called Medal of Honor, Catch Those Assholes. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start the single player campaign without further ado. Let's get some assholes. Oh! 58 megabyte patch. The, the typical launch day patch. I'm not surprised. Whether you're voting for Barack Obama, Mitt Romney, or you're abstaining from voting because you think the whole fucking thing's stupid and pointless anyway, you'll probably agree we have to get some assholes. <laughs> Kill those assholes! The game! Okay, Medal of Honor Warfighter. Press start. What? Yes, install the high-definition content. What? What is this? Please insert the multiplayer disc to install the high-definition content for the single-player campaign. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, this was good planning when they made this game. I just love swapping discs, because everyone knows over the years that I've played games. I love having a swap discs to do shit. So now what's it going to do? It's going to install the high definition content, right? And then it's going to tell me to swap discs again. Fuck me. No. Yeah. I want to store the high definition content to the cloud. Like, what the fuck kind of stupid question was that? <laughs> Yes, one point. Let's put one point six gigs out on the cloud and see how long that takes to load. <laughs> All right. Well, I am looking forward to this game um, because I did enjoy the last installment quite a lot. I really enjoyed the campaign, and uh, I'm hoping that I don't cause an international incident like I did last time with my commentary. However, I make no promises because. Uh, as you know, I usually get caught up. <laughs> I guess it all depends on what locales we'll be visiting to, uh, to take out these assholes. You know, these fundamentalist assholes who uh, think that it's their right to enforce their beliefs on other people who don't believe the same things. Yes. And it's sad to say, but... We have them in the in America too. And no, I'm not just talking about the Muslim religion. I honestly think that that religion gets a bad rap. And they don't deserve it. Because there are a ridiculous amount of respectful people who practice that religion. So, you know, I'm talking about even homegrown here in the United States. We got people with, with their, their crazy belief in morality systems. And they feel that, like, it's their job to enforce that on the entire world. And that the entire world should have to be governed by their own particular morality rule set, to which I say, like, who the fuck do you think you are? It's okay to have your own beliefs and your own, you know, morality code and your own religion. Those things are good. Those things help you live a good life. But to force that shit down other people's throats to the point where you're causing mass chaos, you're causing terrorism, you're causing deaths, that's fucking retarded. You know, who's, who the hell are you to tell me how to live my life? As long as my living my life isn't negatively affecting the way you live your life or directly hurting you, who are you to fucking tell me that I can't do something? Some of the ridiculous beliefs that people have, especially in the United States, they drive me nuts. They really do. See, now I go all, I go all 
Uh, I don't know if it's not really political. It's more, uh, I don't know, my personal belief stance. You get this kind of extra content when I have to install HD content for a game. <laughs> oh, this is silly. This is pretty silly. Yes. Because I believe in one particular version of morals and, and, and religion, and if you don't agree with me, you're the devil! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You know, it's good to have variety. Whatever happened to, you know, change, or not change, but uh, having variety, have a, a mix of cultures, that how, why isn't that, that's a good thing. It's a good thing to have differences, and to have variety, and to have... The, the, these different experiences in your life and to not only see one thing your entire life you know you got to have an open mind you just have to have an open mind if you if you go live my if you go through life with a closed mind you are going to miss out on so much that there is in life really and that's just my personal soapbox but you know i'm getting off the soapbox now because i'm actually going to get to play the game but if you go through life and you completely write stuff off and you don't explore things and you don't consider things and you're just this one track person and all you think of is this one way, I mean, you are going to be have such a sheltered, uninformed, fucking honestly boring life. You have to be open-minded. You can't always be of the mindset, I'm right, you're wrong, no matter what, no matter what evidence you show me, no matter what you say. I'm right no matter what, and it's my right to know to say that I'm right. <laughs> so these fucking crazy fund fundamentalist people, I don't know. All right, anyway, it looks like we actually get to play a game now, which would be nice. Uh, single player. <laughs> Seven minutes in, we haven't seen any gameplay yet. Fuck me. Well, it's okay. Now you heard some of my views, and I'm sure a lot of people will probably gain respect for me, and I'm sure that most of you hate me, so... <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I guess we're just going to keep it standard. It says adjust the arrows to meet the edge of your screen, but sometimes that cuts it off, actually. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to adjust the arrows to meet the edge of my camera. That's a better idea. There we go. So we'll stretch it out a little bit, like that. Okay. Difficulty of normal, start a new campaign. It says, unintended consequences. A simple detonation of a small cargo container goes wrong and sets in motion a race to stop a global terror network. Wow. Okay. Hopefully subtitles are on. I'm sure they're not. OGA stands for other government agencies, sometimes uh, a reference to the CIA. Okay. A nation reveals itself not only by the men it produces, but also by the men it honors, the men it remembers. John F. Kennedy. Preacher, eight weeks ago. And that's why it was just recently announced, uh, National Pauly Shore Day will be taking place annually now in the United States. <laughs> yes, Pauly Shore and Charlie Sheen Week. There will be National Charlie Sheen Week. <laughs> Fucking wet in here. <laughs> sure hope this gun's waterproof. Navy SEALs. These guys are badass, man. Fucking sit in the water for extended periods of time. You know how much training it takes to do this kind of stuff? Fuck, man. Oh, I got shoot him in the head. Oh! That's a good start. A nice execution of a guy in a turban. That will cause an international incident. Uh. Alright, there are subtitles. That's good. Son of a bitch. I'm already... I, I can already feel the complaints on the video. You killed a guy! An innocent guy! Just because he had a turban. <laughs> Oh, there's the guard. I see him. He's talking about new recruits. 
Alright, get that shit on there. There it goes. Alright. 